Hello guys, welcome back to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we are going to talk about replacing this inexpensive composite input device with something that works quite a bit better and has quite a few more input options including component, composite, as well as HDMI inputs. And it also has a nice feature that allows you to output directly to your TV so you can basically convert the input to HDMI. All right, so what is the device? This is it. It's the MyGeeka standalone HD video capture device. And basically, we are going to unbox it and check it out. And we're going to have some uh, test videos so you can see exactly what the output looks like as well as the audio. I will put links in the description below. So if you want, you can just click there and read about it while you're watching the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Today we're going to talk about the Mike Geeka video capture device. It allows you to record video from all types of different sources, including devices like an Xbox One or PS4. And it'll also let you record stuff from retro computers, which is pretty cool. This is it, the My Geeka video capture device. Let's go ahead and open it. And we'll take the cover off. Here we have the component input, the composite input, and of course the power. And on this side we have the HDMI in and your USB port, resolution change, input change, and front panel. Then over here is your HDMI output right here. All right, let's take a look and see what's in the box. Just like here, we have uh, an HDMI cable, pretty cool, power adapter, just plug it in like this, pretty cool. And as far as the USB, you can use uh, a thumb drive or a external hard drive to record the video. A warranty card. Let's take a quick look at the manual. You can pause this video if you want to see any of this. Go ahead and put it up here. Some people like to read the manual. I'm not one of them. <laughs> Looks pretty easy to set up. All right, we're going to hook the MyGeeka video capture device up to this TI-994A. Do that, we will take a look at the composite, the CVBS band, and we'll need the HDMI out to pass through up to our TV so we can see what's going on. We'll plug the power in, and we'll plug the video in here, and the audio. There's only one audio jack here. Now we'll plug the HDMI out to the TV. We'll change the input over to the CVBS. Again, that's the composite video. 
There we go. And of course, we have video to our TV. That's good. And I've got a thumb drive attached. I think it's a 32 gig drive. We'll go ahead and hit record. And we'll see some activity. All right. And it's recording. You want to check that LED. All right, let's load up Parsec. This is a great game from back in the day. 1982 to be exact. Best fire to begin. And I still am not very good at this game. <laughs> Alert. Ships attacking. All right. We're going to check out Demon Attack. This is absolutely the worst music ever in a game, probably. But the game's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's swap over to Tippy. We're going to go online using a Tippy. I'll put a link up above where you can learn more about it, but basically it allows you to connect up to the internet through your TI-99-4A. <laughs> Pretty neat, considering it's almost 40 years old now. All right. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit and try something a little more Modern, we're going to hook up this Raspberry Pi 3B Plus to the MyGeeka. I'll go ahead and pop in the 128 gig micro SD, which has the Retro Rama image installed. I'll put a link up above if you're interested in checking that out. We'll go ahead and hook up the uh, HDMI cable to the MyGeeka input. And then uh, take a look here. Here's the output out to the TV right here. Now we'll plug the power in. And hit record. And it's recording. And we'll go ahead and check out a few games here. And we'll go into Neo Geo. And let's see, let's go to Metal Slug 2. And we'll go ahead and launch that game and check it out. See how it records. Looks pretty cool so far. Uh, who am I going to pick? I'll yeah, we'll go with this one. <laughs> oh man, already. Alright, let's check out a classic Super Nintendo game, Donkey Kong Country. Looks like the video recording is doing quite well.
nice thing about this device is that now I can easily capture video from all types of sources that I can use in future YouTube videos, whereas other devices I've tried were not so easy and didn't look so good. But this looks great. I'm really impressed with the quality of the output. Video is real smooth. I don't see any jitters or lagging or anything. All right. Let's move on to another device. This is uh, my daughter's. It's a device that I think you can get them at Dollar General. Uh, <laughs> and basically, you just plug that up into the composite input. You have one input for the audio and one for the video. And we'll hit record, turn it on. Make sure it's recording. And it is. And we'll go play some Mappy. Let's see how this looks. Of course, this isn't stereo, so you're only going to hear it out of your left speaker. Just like on the TI. Oh well. Let's check out a modern game now. Oh, this is hooked up over HDMI to my laptop and it is Quake Champions. So as you can see, you can record darn well anything. <laughs> Pretty cool. As you can tell, the MyGeek is a handy device to have around. If you're going to be recording video from all types of different input devices, then this is something that you might seriously want to consider. I was very pleased with the output results, and I think you will be too. All right, well, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon.